Uh, lastly here, Ivan from Central Islip, New York. Why didn't WWE make the main event of WrestleMania 10 a triple threat match going into the pay-per-view? Who did not know that Lex Luger was going to lose the first match to Yokozuna? I didn't. I didn't. I was very disappointed when he lost. I was very upset. Uh, I thought they were setting us up for a big match between Lex Luger and Bret Hart with Bret Hart winning. I thought we were going to get two title changes on the same show. Now, maybe that was me being naive. I thought most people were expecting Lex Luger against Bret Hart. <laughs> I don't think I was in the minority with that. Maybe I was. Maybe I've been wrong all these years. I, I thought it was uh, uh, you know, a pretty popular thought that most people were hoping for and expecting Luger to beat Yoko and then lose to, uh, to Bret Hart. Uh, as far as why wasn't it a triple threat match, they didn't do triple threat matches back then in WWE. They didn't have their first triple threat match, I don't think, until, I want to say, early 96. And this was probably after ECW had their first three-way dance, which uh, may have been in 90... When, when did they have their first three-way dance? I was going to say 95. I feel like it was earlier than that. But I don't believe there were any three-way matches in WWE before the beginning of 96. And I know there were a bunch on like live events with like Bret Hart and The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels... Uh, so it just wasn't, it just wasn't a thing, you know? Um, plus they had the whole thing where Brett was going to wrestle Owen. And so, you know, that was why they set things up that way. Brett was going to have his own separate match to open the show and lose and then come back and win. And that set Owen up to eventually challenge him for the championship. I mean, Owen won King of the Ring first, but then they had that great cage match at SummerSlam, which is still to me the best, you know, regular steel cage match that WWE has ever done. 